So teachers, what's your top practice tip? My top piano practice tip would be to break your practice time into smaller chunks. Say you have a really busy day ahead, you want to practice today, but also you have other stuff going on. So what I tend to do is to find a few target points in the piece or pieces that I'm working on. So let's say some finger work passages or a tricky transition, or maybe that very annoying rhythm that you can never really get. Um, and set a 10 minute timer for each of these target points and then spread these chunks throughout the day. And you'll see that these 10 minutes um, per problem are gold dust. Very effective, your concentration will be much improved and the end result will be more satisfying. So I really hope this is useful. Um, I think my piece of advice would be uh, if you're struggling with anything, so be it rhythm, be it keeping in time, say, be it uh, creating a certain colour or a certain sound, um, it would be to sing whatever you're trying to play, so sing through the phrase, um, because the most natural form of music making is to sing, to use our voice. And so if you can get that feeling of the music in your system, in your kind of lungs, your diaphragm, and through that flow of air, it's then going to be so much easier to put the feeling into your fingers and transfer that then through the instrument um, to create what you, you can already hear through singing it. So you know those times when you're practicing and it just doesn't seem to be getting any better and you get really dispirited and think, I just can't do this, this isn't going to get any better. My tip is to take one of these or even one of these and record yourself when you're first starting out practicing whatever it is and then after a few days record yourself again and listen back and listen to the difference and even though you don't think it's got any better because it's, it has got better it's just got better in very small amounts but if you listen back to that original recording and then to the new one, you will see how much you've improved. And hopefully that will inspire you to go on and make it even better. I have lots of practice tips. The main ones being think 10 times, play once. If it sounds good, then practice something else. And to remember that listening is also practicing. But probably my main practice tip is the three S's. Slowly, separately, and in sections. Aside from making lots of repeats in practice, in fact, my students know that again is my favorite word to use in lessons. My top tip is practice with your eyes closed. I know this sounds rather strange, but it's actually my favourite practice tip. Um, I use it all the time in my practice and believe me, it works. So here, I'm, I'm learning how to play a jump. Now I can't play it very quick, but I will need to play it quickly later on. But the way that I'm gonna do that is I'm going to keep my eyes closed and practice the jump very slowly and I'm just gonna feel it out. So I'm just gonna give you a tip here, here we go. Okay, so that seems to be going okay, so I'm going to up the speed. Oh, not very good. Okay, right, that was pretty difficult. But now I'm going to keep my eyes open and I'm going to have a look and see where I'm jumping to. And I can play even quicker because it's so much easier. So. I love that feeling of where you pile on the difficulty, play it with your eyes closed, and as soon as you open your eyes, it feels tons easier. Now you lot might have some jumps in your pieces or places where you need to change your hand position. So this would be a really good tip for you. As part of my practice tip this week, let me tell you about a student I used to teach. She was somebody who was quite musical, but I just knew she was making nowhere near the sort of progress that I expected her to make. 
it was very, very steady. When we dug down into it, it was quite apparent what was going on. She was trying to do all her piano practice on the day or the day before her lesson. She was trying to achieve everything, her sight reading, her new learning, improving, listening to the sounds, doing her technique, all in a day, maybe two days before. And she wondered why she wasn't making progress. You know, we use muscles. We use tendons, muscles. We use actually the whole body when we play the piano. People think we just use the fingers, but it's so much more than that. And when we're using anything to do with the body, it's so important that we are continually been building on our strengths and building up those strengths. And guess what? If you're not doing that every day, you actually could do yourself an injury. I'd be totally serious. So, like your weekly shop, let's imagine you've been to the supermarket and you have bought six huge bags of shopping. Now, I know it's tempting. You want to bring them all in, in one go. <laughs> I know I've tried to do it. And you try to pick them all up, three in one hand, three in the other hand. You try to bring them all in at once. And you know what? The struggle is real. In fact, you're in danger of doing yourself an injury. Guess what? That's one of the problems. If you try to practice all in one go, instead of doing a little bit at once, once every day, a couple of times every day. If you try and do it all in one or two days, what's going to happen? Your progress will be almost nothing. So my top practice tip, it sounds obvious, but practice every day.